Hey guys, welcome to All Things Kawaii. Today's video is a huge, ginormous Dollar Tree haul. It's mostly all stationary. There's a couple other little random things that are very cute and I decided to throw in. This is a collective haul, so like I always say, multiple trips over the course, I say like about a month. I've noticed I've been doing Dollar Tree hauls like around like every month. Same thing with Daiso hauls. So by the way, there will be a Daiso haul coming out very soon as well. So if you love Daiso, make sure you have your post notification bell turned on and as well as be subscribed to my channel. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it because right. it's going to be a long So time. I'm just going to start pulling. I have two really big bags. I'm going to just start pulling out from them here and I don't really know what I'm grabbing. So let's just go with it. The first few items that I'm seeing, I think I'm going to do all the non-stationary items. So I did find these really cute puzzles. This one's a little hundred piece. It's an Alice in Wonderland one, and she's just super cute. Curtsying, it's kind of like a pastel thing. I love puzzles. I think they're so fun whenever you're bored, you know, do a puzzle. And it's Alice in Wonderland. I love Alice in Wonderland. And I also did find this one where she's in um, the garden. This one's a 500 piece, and it's supposed to look like this, the golden afternoon. I think for this particular one, probably the other one as well. I want to glue them, um, use a like uh, puzzle glue or whatever and frame them because these are so beautiful. I wouldn't want to destroy them. So for a dollar, if you're an Alice in Wonderland fan, Dollar Tree has those puzzles. The next thing is this really cute ceramic um, like succulent or plant holder and we have Cecile the Crab. This is cute little red um, crab. Those are the other ones that I have still have yet to find. I actually love collecting these. These are super cute. You could do um, like a variety of things with these. You can obviously put plants in them. Um, you could put even a faux plant. Like, you know, Dollar Tree sells those fake um, succulent plants. I'm like trying so hard to open this. Um, let me try opening this here. Um, you could use that if you don't want to use like a real succulent plant. Um, you could put accessories in there. I don't know. You can do a lot of these. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's even cuter out of the package. So, so this is Cecile the Crab. I have the other ones from last year. I don't know if they've, Dollar Tree has been doing this for a very long time, but I'm very happy that I was able to find the cute little crab and I'm hoping I can find the other ones as well. Okay, next up I have are these little like wall signs. Found this really cute succulent plant one with this little pink pot great for DIYs of course and then this one with the little kawaii face at the bottom which I love love this one um the entrance to my home I have a llama succulent cactus theme going on so these are going to be perfect for that obviously right now I have Halloween decor up for the rest of the year honestly I'm not going to have any like llamas up there because of all the holidays and everything now I know there's a third one to this collection one, there's four, but the third one is a llama, and I have been looking for that one. Now, these have been out for a minute, so I'm hoping I can find the llama. But anyhow, um, these are actually more on the newer side. This cute little llama door hanger. This is your Lamazing. Your Lamazing. Just super cute. I had, I had to get her. I couldn't say no to that. And then I also grabbed this really cute uh, decorative pillow. It's like a fur material. It kind of, the way it's like cut, it looks like scalloped I don't know but I really like this like green blue color I love these for my desk chair I like to use different pillows on them they help with my back this little one isn't too big which I like it's normally big puffy pillows it kind of like pushes me forward so I like the size of these obviously these are great as decoration as well but they're really cute for a dollar and they did have this in like I think a cream a tan I think a beige I might be wrong but Found that, and then I also found these super cute little owl socks with the little fuzzy owl ears, just so adorable. These are, um, I guess, crew socks is what they'd be called. It's by Juncture. They fit size five to nine. They also had a dog, I think a bear, a lion, and the owl. So, found that. And this next one I've been looking for a while as well and I finally found it it's the llama phone stand so that's how it looks it's like a little peach llama so cute the one that I use right now is from Dollar Tree I've had it for 
like about a year now and I when I saw that they had this I was like I need it I need okay, it okay yeah. now I have one last non-stationary item and it's this it's so random so random but it's a gray little fuzzy dinosaur plush. <laughs> I just this was an impulse buy for sure for sure because I'm like I think he's super cute and he ended up in my basket and now he's here he found a new home with me so I don't know what kind of dinosaur this is it's a bron bronchosaurus bronchiosaurus brontosaurus I don't know I should ask my fiance because he like loves dinosaurs but yeah I grabbed him so he is gonna live on my desk and next up I have some crafter square items so these are super popular so if you are in the market for these little like laser wooden cut um, pendants icons are called laser cut craft icons they have them at Dollar Tree um, so this one has some fish this really cute polar bear and I love the little dolphins you do get two of each style a little well I love the penguin and another dolphin and then this one has I think that's like a wasp I think a ladybug and a moth or a butterfly I think it's a moth I don't know but I've been really into um, stationary swaps and pocket letters and stuff and I do stationary swaps with some friends and I wanted to start adding these cute like little charms like non like I always use like stickers, washi tape, paper, you know, that kind of stuff, but I wanted to add like beads and buttons and little things like this. So when I saw these for a dollar, I think that's such a great deal, but you can do so many different things with these, by the way. All right. So next up, so I did find this really cute weekly planner at Dollar Tree. I just really like the colors. It's very simple, just Monday through Sunday. You can, you know, have a little overview of what's going on during the week. And it's by Crown Jewels and you get 40 sheets. I love using these. I always keep one here on my desk. I use it for work, like whenever I'm having like Zoom meetings or like any kind of trainings or something like that. I like to write it down just to kind of give me, myself an overview. I have a couple weekly planners and I switch them out every like couple of weeks and use a different one. But these are so cute. So I found that one. They did have like four or five other styles, but I just picked that one up. And this really cute stationary set. I love the navy blue and white. It's so pretty. This is by Jot. So I know this is a newer set. They had some around Mother's Day. Um, yeah, during Mother's Day as like the Mother's Day gift section. Um, there was a lot that I did not find. And I'm probably going to find them because my Dollar Trees, we get things like a couple months later. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. But anyway, this is from a newer set and this was the only one I was able to find. So there's this side, which is really nice, great for lists. And then the smaller notepad with the lines and then this beautiful like floral print. And it does come with a cute little pin. This is great for a dollar. I don't know how this is a dollar. This would be like $3 on Marshalls. So I like that. And then I also did, this is not like something new from Dollar Tree. It's just a notepad. It's white, unruled, 150 sheets, four by six inches. I really liked it just for the fact of making like titles for like letters and for spreads and stuff. Instead of getting a whole like piece of like computer paper, I have like these smaller ones. These are also great for like doodles and things like that. And these, they always have these. I don't know why I've never picked one up to just add to my stash. Okay, so I grabbed that. So I'm refilming this clip right now because <laughs> my fiance came up behind me and scared the living daylights out of me i'm not even kidding i like almost dropped what i was showing <laughs> i got so spooked <laughs> oh my god okay continuing this is the item i was showing you in the old clip okay so i found this coupon holder by jot it has six pockets i got this turquoise one they also had a pink a green and an orange just throwing out the options that I do remember so if you're looking for these items you have an idea what to look for but yeah it just opens up and it has like the little folders it does fully like extend out which is really nice you could use these to organize stickers um sticker flakes whatever you want but I'm actually going to use this for receipts I'm going to try to keep all my receipts so I grabbed that then I also did find these are like so old but I found them because they're summery so there's this cute little toucan we have a, a little pineapple like tropical flower so it's like a little mini journal and two sticky notes and this is by three birds design it is imported 
uh, are distributed by Greenbrier. So I found that one. And then this one here, which has a little seashell and then those little sticky notes at the top, really cute for summer. So I decided to grab those um, as well. Okay, list pads. Dollar Tree and their freaking list pads. They always come out with such cute ones and I'm always like, why? <laughs> I don't need no more list pads, but I feel like it's not just me. There's a lot of people out there that love their list pads. So I did find some of them. I didn't buy all of them. Okay. I didn't buy all of them. Um, but I did get this one. This is fresh out of groceries and it's a grocery bag. And I love the print with the veggies and the fruits and the background. I thought that was so cute. You get 60 sheets and it is magnetic, of course, because it's meant to go on your fridge. This one says to do. I love the like floral print kind of gives me like know vintagey kind of like 1960s wallpaper vibes but yeah very cute and then this next one says to do as well with the orange and like the taupe kind of like rainbow thing with the pink I like it and then this one has like the perforation so you can tear this part off that says don't forget and yeah this looks like something you would see at Target I guess like the style of it and then I did find these, which are by Crown Jewels. Um, you get 50 sheets. These aren't magnetic, but you can always add a magnet. And they are smaller. But this one has a watermelon, and it says one in a melon. I love fruit, and I love a pun, so I needed to add this to my collection. And then this one says cake it easy with these super cute cupcakes. And it even has, like, the little check boxes, which is nice. All right, so next up is this random <laughs> roll of fabric. It has these really cute lemons printed on these. I love these little rolls of fabric. I think they're great for a dollar. You could do a lot of different projects with these. I actually think this is gonna be great for next next year for um, summer decor. I had like this like fruit thing going on in like August, I think, or July. I already forgot, but <laughs> I just saw this and I knew I needed to have that for next year. So I grabbed that. And then I finally also found, sorry I'm seeing this a lot in this haul, is because there's a lot of things that I literally finally have found. And I've seen other people have done walkthroughs like months ago or have done hauls a long time ago. And they're like, I found this. And I'm like, I still haven't found any of these things. So it's really exciting. This is actually from the back to school season, but they're the electric pencil sharpeners, which I've never seen Dollar Tree do. Um, I don't know but yeah I decided to go with this really pretty purple I do use like the old style wood pencils I know a lot of people use mechanical ones but I like the wooden ones as well too so I thought these would be great of course for colored pencils as well so this is gonna stay on my desk it's gonna be used quite a lot and then I found a cute little novelty pin it's this really adorable sunflower little rubber sunflower is just really cute for a dollar I used to be really into buying a ton of novelty pens all the time from Dollar Tree and I stopped for the longest time. I don't know, I just, a lot of them look too similar to each other and I was just like, eh, I'll just wait. But I haven't seen anything like that, so I picked that one up. And then I also found these ink glitter markers. You get two in this pack, they have a bullet tip. They're vibrant metallic ink with glitter. You could decorate paper, cards, and more. And this one has like an orange and a silver actually have a couple sets of these and I love them. I love them because they are super sparkly. They have great ink flow and for a dollar, so 50 cents each, it's a steal. So if you're looking for some good glitter markers that are inexpensive, All Dollar right, Tree has um, them. Moving on, talking about wooden pencils, I saw this cute little pack where all the pens and pencils were. I knew I had to have it because of the llama, which actually matches that um, the foam holder thing a little peach llama there's this pencil here got some glitter ones you get 12 in a pack um yeah so normally all of these i'll end up giving them away in stationary swaps um and i'll probably keep just like one of these or probably two of them so i get four because they have the cute little llamas so i found that and i also found this super cute fox ribbon i think this is more this is definitely more like fall um, there's little donuts and cups of coffee and it's just really cute. I love using the ribbon to um, wrap up when I do stationary swaps to wrap up the little bundle of like scrap of paper and stuff. Um, I use the ribbon to tie everything together. And then I did find just two sets of washi. Just these two. They were loners. So this one has uh, cherry blossoms. Just really cute. 
I've never seen Dollar Tree do anything with cherry blossoms, so I love that. And then this like floral print. I like this one because it's more of a muted floral print. It's not like super in your face, like very bright. So, okay, yeah. next up, I found these Crafter Square buttons, which I know they always have. But like I said, my local Dollar Trees just don't have anything. Even the ones that I have to like go all the way to like San Antonio for, I mean, I have to go all over there to find some things and I can't go all the time. So, but this one is a 90 pack. You get some big buttons, you get blue and pink and then purple and yellow smaller buttons. Again, for stationary swaps. That's what I got these for, these little cute things. And then I found paper packs. Do you know how hard it is to find paper packs? these always sell out I've already gone through I think like two full paper packs so I was like I need to like stock up on, on some more I love these because they're all so different you get different types of papers in them some are glittery some are metallic they're different textures you know they're smaller you know sizes but for a dollar again great price you get 200 grams per pack so I love that and then these next four are cosmetic bags they're iridescent they're so cool they're kind of like a plastic material so there's this clear iridescent which is really cool love that and then this like purpley blue color which is very interesting and this like hot pink and I think this one's my favorite it's like a teal green but yeah it looks like an envelope and you just open it up it is it doesn't have a gusset at the bottom so you can't fit like the most in here. Um, I'm actually gonna use these to fill with scrapbook papers. So let me show you really quick. I have two of these that are already like pretty full. These are from Dollar Tree I bought last year and I keep just a ton of like scrapbook paper that I get from Pin Pals as well as like whenever I'm journaling, I don't throw any of my scraps away. I always save them because I, I will use them. I want to throw them away. Um, so I decided to grab these for storage. And last like paper products, some journals. Um, so these are kind of newish. You get two notebooks per pack. This one is my favorite because of the rainbows. I love these. Again, something that you would see at Target, this like kind of print and like color scheme. And then the other journals, just like a normal size journal. It's like a matte paper and they're just lined 32 sheets. You get two and it's by Jot. And then this one, I mean, it says hello summer. <laughs> so it has a cute pineapple and then it has a navy blue journal. So I love these. I actually, I like, I have a journal for like everything. I just love writing things down. I have a movie review journal. So I love watching movies <laughs> and um, I like to write down, you know, what I thought about the movie, if I would recommend it, if I would ever watch it again. My friends and I, we like to have movie night a lot. So it's kind of good to have to kind of be like, oh, this movie was really good. We should watch this. Or if somebody has a suggestion, I always write it down so I can watch it. Um, and also same thing with TV shows. I love, I just like watching TV. Like... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and I watch it while I'm working by the way because when I work from home I can watch movies while I'm working so I'm literally watching movies and TV shows and YouTube videos like all day <laughs> um, so there's that so I like using these small journals for that because I go through those pretty quickly and then I here we go again finally found the rest to the set of these journals previous hauls I found the dotted journals which I gave one away to a friend and then I gave one away to my mom and I also found some blank journals as well which I think I gave those away too I think I kept one but these are the lined versions you get 120 lined uh, pages this one says beautiful with the pretty flowers and it just looks like this I love that it comes with a little band and it's just lined you know nothing interesting in the inside and then this one says choose joy and it has the beautiful like watercolor like flowers on the sides with like the stripes just very cute for one dollar um so okay those last things which is gonna take a minute to go through our stickers this stack of stickers that I have gathered in the past month it's a lot but also at the same time a lot of these are pop-up stickers so it looks like I have like 50 sheets in my hand but I, I really don't it's just because they are like thick and maybe I'm just 
try and feel better about myself. Anyway, let's go ahead and go through these a, as fast as we can. So the first one is actually a sticker book. This one has 276 stickers and it's like a little animal themed one. So the first sheet is kind of like 3D. You can see they kind of like sparkle too, but it has all these really cute dogs with crowns and jewels. And then the second sheet has glittered food animals. <laughs> Love the little bunny and the donut is so cute. And then this one's like a laser foiled one, just different dogs and cats. And there's even a cute little mouse. And then the last sheet just has little hearts and paw prints, which is really cute. These would be great for planners as well, for like to-do lists. So there's that. And then this one, there's a SpongeBob sticker sheet at Dollar Tree. What? Yes, I found it. And this is also um, like a plastic, hard plastic 3D sticker sheet. And yeah, we have Gary. <laughs> I love this so much. And then I also found these Jurassic World ones. You only get nine, but they are also 3D. I thought those were cool. And oh my God, I found a Heidi Swap item. Now it's just a, you know, just a single sticker sheet. You get 21 stickers and they're like a clear kind of like plastic material, but I love the pinks with the lime greens. Whenever we see any kind of name brand item at Dollar Tree, make sure to scoop it up because you know it's not a dollar elsewhere. Of course, if you want it, but so okay, yeah, there's that. Next up are these sticker sheets. They had like probably eight total designs and I only got these two because these were my favorite. These are like printed on the same, not on the same paper, but like the, um, the wall decals. That's what it reminds me of. Um, so you do get two sheets, which is great. This one you get 90 and it's like a little baby zoo animal theme. The little zebra is so cute and it also has some laser foiling. I don't know if you can tell. It's very light, a very light sparkle. And then this one you get 108 and there's just dogs. Love the chunky pug, the little paw prints and the little dog houses are so cute. So I found those. And then the next are actually like the little three sticker sheets. Um, love these. So the first sheet's always like a pop-up 3D sticker sheet with glitter. This one's a travel theme. And I'm obsessed with the hot air balloon and the stack of luggage um, or suitcases. And then the second sheet has just different quotes. Destination, great adventure, let's go on a journey. I love all the muted colors as well. And then the third sheet's always an alpha, sh uh, alpha sticker sheet. This one's very like, the text is very like thin, <laughs> but I like it and you get 54. So great for scrapbooking. And then the next one is a 61 piece pack and it's kind of like a shabby chic Valentine's Day themed. I love that bird silhouette and the keys. I think that's so pretty. And then here's this sticker sheet our story be mine you hold the key to my heart very cute and then the alpha sticker sheet the yellows and the pinks you don't get that many letters so if you really like the alpha sticker sheet you might want to grab more than one and then the last one like this is a 63 count and it's a back to school theme which you know, I'm not going back to school or have kids or anything like that, but I saw the llama with the chalkboard. I knew I needed it. I love the raccoon driving the bus. I thought that was so cute. And then here's this very colorful, you know, lots of rainbows. We have the llama with the backpack, of course, and then the alpha sticker sheet. You've got some bold letters. I love the rainbow letters. So cool. Next up are these by Jot. You get nine per pack. These are interesting. I did haul some of these on my last Dollar Tree video. Um, they're like a faux leather material. It's kind of weird, but they are 3D. So this one has all these like elephants going through different emotions. Like he looks really like done and he's really angry <laughs> going through all the feels. And then we also have this super cute Corgi, a little sad Corgi happy corgi just so adorable okay and then i have some crafter square stickers i didn't realize i like organized it sort of 
Um, so this one's just like a regular pop-up sticker sheet, but it's like a little circus animal theme. I love the little pink bunny coming out of the hat. I think this is so cute. And you get 12. Now don't, I uh, don't go to a circus guys. Like the things they do to those poor animals for entertainment reasons, is just horrible. Um, on a sticker sheet though, it's cute, but not in real life. Um, and then the next one is also another like pop-up sticker sheet. This one has a little bit of glitter and it's a cat theme. These are just really cute. I like this little bowl with all the little fish tails peeking out, the little mouse. And then this next one is a sloth sticker sheet. These are like a shiny kind of plastic. And they are puffy, but I love the sloth drinking lemonade. So okay, um, next up is this like birthday theme. The birthday cake with the candles very colorful You've got the balloons and you get 13 in this pack i uh, had two friends their birthdays were this past september and i made both both of their birthday cards i used washi i love using these pop-up stickers for cards because they work great in them for the covers um i even decorate the back side of the card so i'm excited for whoever's birthday's next i probably will use these well, probably not because she's not super like, she doesn't really like these kind of colors. So I might use them for somebody else, but these are always great to just kind of have on hand in your collection. And this next one is very interesting and not exactly my style, but I love this Rubik's cube. I love this swan here. I'm not too crazy about that girl gang, <laughs> but it kind of gave me like Lisa Frank. I don't know. It reminded me of Lisa Frank. I guess the colors. I don't know that one's an 11 count and this one is a 13 count and I really like that dream catcher and the like purple kind of pink tie-dye thing I thought that was cool this next one is um, a 12 count and these are like I call them traditional pop-up stickers because they don't have glitter it's just literally like two stickers on top of one another I always say with these you can easily peel off the top part and have your set a set of 24 stickers rather than 12 that's what I usually do with these type types of stickers um, but yeah these just have all these cute little owls dressed up as different things we got a little nerd owl a hipster owl and then this next one is beautiful there's the bike with like these pansies I think I feel like I actually have this sheet actually maybe I don't I know they've done quite a few like this with the chalkboard kind of thing. This one you do get eight, but it is beautiful. Here's another one with that like chalkboard kind of thing with the flowers. I love the little, um, the flowers uh, falling over this um, bucket. <laughs> oh my God, I can't talk. Okay, it's this thing full up here. Very cute. Looks like something from Hobby Lobby, right? Or Michael's. And then this one too is so beautiful. I love the purple. I just realized they do have some glitter, a little bit of glitter, uh, but this is actually like a hot air balloon, but it's like a topiary, to to is, that, is that what that's called with the flowers that um, they look like, um, like a ball with flowers? I think that's what it's called. Love the teacup with the flowers coming out and the little bird, got the little moped, so cute. You get nine in that pack. And this next one is a 10 count, also pop up, has a little bit of glitter and it is also a birthday sticker sheet. But there's a lot of little like bundles of flowers that you can kind of use for other things as well. And then this one you get 63 and it's an alpha sticker sheet. I just really like the silver and black. I thought that was so cool. Some are metallic, some have glitter. These kind of look like wax seals, which I think is really cool. Okay, and lastly, in the last few sticker sheets, I did find this one is a 13 count and it's just a really cute, colorful butterflies. These are, I always call them stained glass stickers because they're clear and they're plastic and it kind of looks like stained glass but I thought these were really cool. They kind of remind me of something from the early 2000s. Filling the early 2000s at limited to everybody loved butterflies and everybody loved hot pink and lime green. I don't know why, but it was a thing. And then these, I'm so happy I was able to find these. I know there's like maybe three others to this collection. I did find one in my last haul and now I found these. 
So they kind of remind me of like vintage brooches. They've got rhinestones in the center and they are metallic. This one's a six count, same thing with this one. Again, it has like that texture. It's so cool. These would look so awesome in a scrapbook, obviously in a card, or if you're making your own invitations for a party or something, these would be really cool. So there we go, everything on my desk. I bought a lot, yes I did, but I'm happy with everything and I am so happy I can finally use these items. If you're new to my channel, whenever I buy things from like Dollar Tree or Daiso, any stationary items, things like that, that I haul on my channel here, I always leave them in the bags waiting for me to do a video before I even touch them, before I use them or anything. There's a couple things, some of them that I, you know, I'm like, I can't wait. I can't wait. I got to use it now. But um, for the most part, yeah. And I can finally put them away too. So, but yeah, I love everything that I did find in the past uh, few trips to Dollar Tree. I have a lot of fun things to add to my collection. A fun um, bunch of stickers, some journals. These I really needed to use for organization. But yeah, and my cute little dinosaur. <laughs> I think there is actually two other ones or three other ones to this set. But I only found him. So maybe I can find his other friends soon. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which item is your favorite. Um, and which items are you adding to your shopping list. And uh, if you actually watch this video all the way through, comment down below and let me know by putting a... Um, just any random emoji. I'm not going to even like say a certain one. Just whatever random emoji you want to put. So I know that you watched it all. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope everybody stays safe. And as always, stay quiet, my friends. And I will see you in the next one.